Hey guys, I'm Colleen, obviously you're on my channel, and this is Corey. Hi! And sorry I look like a hot mess express. It's been a while since we slept. It's been crazy <laughs> in this house because we've been prepping for tour. Do we get the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I thought I would talk about something really ex exciting and special that I haven't been able to talk about yet, which is my Netflix special. And I would also talk about the upcoming tour that we've been working on while we eat my favorite food in the world and uh, have like kind of a mukbang because I don't have time to edit anything. So. But also I really like mukbangs because, ooh, this is actually a good tomato. Sometimes they put in tomatoes that are like rank and like have the hard yeah. center, you know? It's hard to get a good tomato. Um, anyway, so we're gonna have a little mukbang chit chat. So Corey and I have been working basically nonstop on the new show. And the reason we're doing a new show is because it's time, but also because my old show is gonna be on Netflix June 4th, and that's really soon, it's like a week and a half. Um, so we're really excited about that, um, and so that comes out, and so once that's out, I don't wanna be doing the same exact show that you can watch on Netflix in person, so if you come to the live show, it's gonna be totally new, totally different. So we've been just nonstop making new props and set pieces and writing new bits and all this stuff, so it's been crazy here. But I wanna talk a little bit about the Netflix special. Okay. We shot it almost a year ago. Oh my God. Mm hmm Cause I was six months pregnant. You were very pregnant. Mm hmm And I was, you can't tell in the special, but I was a mess. Like, I was a disaster. I was like sobbing the night before <laughs> and the day of because I was in so much pain. Um, and I know I talk about it all the time. My pregnancy was really horrible and I was really, I was, I was in so much agony, like agonizing pain. Um, and so for my Netflix special, I could barely walk. Like literally I could barely move. So in the special, you'll see me running back and forth on stage. You'll see me kind of, I mean, I feel like I have 50% of the energy that I usually have on stage in the Netflix special because I can't move. But I pushed myself to the limit just so that the special would like kind of look good. Yeah, but well I, I like, mean like they would yell cut, like Colleen would go full out and go crazy and they would yell cut and Colleen would be like, ah, ah. but you obviously <laughs> won't be able to see no, that yeah. because it's the edit. But like it was insane. Mm -hmm. Like Colleen would barely move. A lot of times she had a wheelchair. She had um, a chiro chiropractor helping her out. Like she couldn't walk. Mm -hmm. Like it was crazy. She was like pushing through blood, sweat, and tears to get this done. And like, but she did it. And then we finished the special, and um, then I was in a wheelchair for a while after that because I could literally have destroyed my whole body. And then we edited it, and everything was going well, and it was looking like it would be out pretty quickly. And then there was a bunch of holdups like in the boring mumbo jumbo back end of things. Like with nothing to do with Netflix, nothing to do with me. Um, another third party, you know, kind of just became a disaster. And um, so it got delayed and delayed and delayed. So the reason my Netflix special came out like literally almost a year <laughs> after we shot it is nothing to do with Netflix, it's nothing to do with me, it's just, Sometimes in this industry stuff goes wrong and you just gotta deal with it and that's what happens. So that's why it's out so late. But it is here now, which but is crazy. I think it's cool that you waited so long because like I see Netflix specials, stand up specials all the time. I mean, they're good, but it's a comedian just standing on stage and you know, the only thing that's entertaining about it is they're like jokes, they just stand there. I mean, you just have to talk and hopefully be funny. But with Colleen's show, it's like, a full thing like she's singing she's dancing she has comedy bits she has props she has things people coming on stage i mean it's a whole show it's really fun so it's gonna be really cool and i'm so excited i think it's it's mostly it's for you guys like the fans will like it because mm -hmm. the people who've been to my show will get to watch it again and the people who've never been able to see my show will finally be able to see it but I'm curious to think like if someone randomly stumbled upon it, <laughs> like if someone was on Netflix one night and was like, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna do it for some stand-up comedy and like put it on, 
They'd be so confused. They'd be like, what is this? Because it's not, like it is, this, it's a stand-up comedy special. Like it's me on a stage with a mic. Like it's a stand-up comedy special, but it's not like but a- But you didn't have a background of the character. Yeah, or me, like, mm -hmm. because it's not like I'm a, I would never say like, I'm a comedian. You mm -hmm. know, like I would never tell someone I'm a stand-up comedian. It's like, if they turn it on, they'd be like, I feel like people would be really confused. So I'm like nervous. Well, but people who edit it, they're like, we edit a lot of stand up specials, but this was really fun and entertaining to do. Mm -hmm. So that's good. We'll see. We'll but, see if people who don't know anything about Miranda will like it. I don't know. I started the show as me, and then I changed into Miranda. So maybe, I don't know. So that comes out June 4th. I'm really excited. By the way, we're eating in and out, my favorite food in the world. We're both having animal style cheeseburgers, <laughs> yeah. animal style fries. And the best way to eat it is to put ketchup on it and then mix it all up so it looks like barf and then you eat it. That's how Corey and I have been doing it since we were literally fetuses. Mm -hmm. When we were, I was 17, you were 18. Mm -hmm. In college, we would in the middle of the night be like, do you want in and out And we'd just go get animal style fries and sit in the car and eat it alone. We literally, <laughs> like I think I like, eat. did we do that when I came out to you? I was like, I'm mm -hmm. a homosexual. You're mm -hmm. like, oh, let's get in and out. Mm-hmm. We did it for anything, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Anytime we needed to vent or cry or anything, we'd just go get in and out and just get animal style fries mm -hmm. and put ketchup all over it. Um, we did it, I remember the, one of the first times we did it. I. So, oh my god, I'm sorry. I hate. The only thing I hate about mukbangs is like you either talk with your mouth full and look like a gross pig or you just sit in silence. Um, but, I was gonna say, I do remember one of the first times we did it, went to In-N-Out and got animal self fries. We were like talking mm -hmm. and I asked you if you ever had a girlfriend, like, do you remember <laughs> really? that? Really? I'm probably, I don't know. Um, I, not cause like, I was just curious. It was just talk. And I've always been the type of like, especially I, back then, I never assumed anyone was gay. Mm -hmm. um, so, when rumors started going around about Corey that he was gay, I didn't listen to it, I didn't care if people were like, do you think Corey's gay? And I'm like, I don't know, who cares? Like, it like doesn't even cross, it like never crossed my mind because I don't think about it because I didn't but care. Not just for me, she thought about everyone. She's like, yeah, I was like, she's like, okay, who cares? Yeah, like literally who cares? What difference does it make? Like. If I'm not interested in them, then mm -hmm. it doesn't affect me in any way. And I was, I did have a crush on him for like a day. I think a week in college I had like a crush on me and I was like, oh, never mind. We're just meant to be best friends. But I really didn't even, like people are like, but don't you think? And I'm like, no, I literally have never thought about it. Like it yeah. does not affect me, I don't care. Um, but anyway, one time I remember we were sitting in the car and I was like, what was your, who was your first girlfriend? And I remember just like, I don't know. I think you said you didn't have one and like mm -hmm. you you asked a girl out or she asked you out or something. Like you told me some story like that and I was like about a prom or something. Mm. And now I can't remember it. But I just remember asking you that and then once you came out to me I was like, Oh, I asked him about a girlfriend once and <laughs> But yeah, we'd always talk Yeah, I've people. never dated a girl, I never did anything with girls. The girls would ask me to dances and stuff and I would say yes, but like I never dated anyone. You never kissed a girl. Never kissed a girl. I remember in high school, like I tried to be straight. Like I was hanging out with this girl. We didn't kiss, we didn't hold hands, we didn't do anything. And then like my, like was not attracted to her whatsoever. And it kind of just like, I just left it at that and like disappeared. You ghosted her. I didn't ghost her. I was just like, just friend zoned her. That's good considering you were not interested. Yeah. So, Okay, I want to talk a little about the new show. I'm really excited about it. Oh, yeah. I'm terrified. Like, I have not been sleeping because I'm so stressed and so scared and so nervous. But the new show, I don't know how much I want to tell you because I don't want to give too much away, <laughs> but like, um, so it's still going to be like Miranda Colleen show where it's like, by the way, sorry, I know it's so weird for people when I talk in like third person like that, like Miranda and Colleen, like that's literally my name and me, but like, I think it's confusing if I don't say yeah. the two names because otherwise, like, am I talking about Miranda or me? Anyway, um, there's still gonna be both. So like, there's gonna be part of the show that's Miranda and part of the show that's me. And so they're still gonna see some stuff that like you're used to if you've been in the show before, but it's all new. Um, 
I don't know what to say about it. Like, I'm not starting the show like I used to. I'm not coming out as me and then singing Defying Gravity and turning into Miranda. Like, that's gone. Well, like, you know, in the past, if you have come to shows, like, you you see the show and there would be a lot of the same little bits because they're really funny and people love those bits and they want to see them again. But since Colleen did all that on Netflix and millions of people can view it online, she wanted to do everything new, so literally everything is brand new. And we think it's really funny. No, we don't know. It's We're like, like cracking up in the house. We're like, that's amazing. <laughs> Why don't we get on stage and it's like no one laughed. I hope it's funny, I don't know. Todrick's working with me to, um, oh, baby's back. Eric and the baby. Eric's parents were just in town and they call him Baby Binky, so now we keep calling him Baby Binky. <laughs> baby Binky! Hi, baby Binky. You have a good walk. Hi, happy boy. Hi, happy boy. Are you so happy? He's so cute. Wow, I love animal soft fries. Oh my god. Um, Todrick's helping me write a song. I haven't heard a couple it yet. songs, hopefully. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes. But I just know Todrick's like he's so talented and like he's so good at writing songs and coming up with things really, really fast. And so he was over here yesterday and we talked on the phone a few times like about what I want and I am not good at writing music and he's really good at it. So he said he'd help me. So hopefully we'll hear something today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that's freaking me out. Like the thought of learning a whole new song and like performing a whole new song that nobody knows. Like, ah! it's really scary. And we have a lot of new props. A new, like, oh, I have this cool idea for like what the stage is gonna look like. We'll see if it happens. Well, we're doing the six shows and hopefully mm -hmm. more, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have shows in California. Like what's, what, what's gonna be the determining factor of Flynn? It's like if he can handle it. If Flynn is okay on tour and I can handle it and Flynn can handle it, which I think we will, Wee. it'll be fine. Wee. Then we'll add more shows in the United States of America for now and Wee. then hopefully go overseas. Oh my god, Flynn's international? I know. I'm scared. No, it's amazing. She's cultured. But people are like, oh, so you leave Flynn at home? And I'm like, no. Colleen? If people, I don't know if people think that Colleen just like leaves Flynn and does her own thing 24 7. Like, Flynn is with Colleen 24 7. Like, he's either he's breastfeeding her. Or she's holding him, like calming him down. Or, or like while I'm editing or, or while he's editing. Me. Literally, he's she's editing on the computer and then Flynn is sitting right here because he loves his mommy and he wants to be with his mommy. But like Colleen is with him 24 hours. It's because I love him. I'm obsessed with him. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he's either with me or Eric. Like he loves Eric too. He's obsessed with them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're very, very hands on parents. Like, I'm a working mom, but I'm also like a stay at home mom at the same time because I'm with him all mm -hmm. the time. Like, which that's how I want it. Like, there's no, like, these shows, like, I'm going up to Sacramento and San Jose, literally just two shows, two days. I feel like any other person on the planet would be like, oh, I'll just leave the baby leave home. home. Like, that'd be way easier. And I'm like, there's no way I would ever leave him for two nights because I couldn't handle it. Like, there's no way. It, that, and that's not me shaming other moms. Like, I think working moms are so amazing. Like, badass, yeah. yeah, I don't think anything negative about that, but I just don't want to leave him. And I like, am lucky enough that I, I'm like privileged in the sense that like, I am able to bring him and, you know, Eric and you and my mom. And like, I can have people there to help while I'm working. So like, while I'm on stage, like my mom will be backstage with the baby and doing the meet and greet. My mom will be with the baby and stuff like that, or Eric. So. I'm privileged in that way where a lot of moms don't have that, but like there's no, like it would be so much easier if just Corey and me just went on tour, you know, instead of bringing the baby and like, I'm gonna need two extra suitcases for all his stuff and his stroller and his car seat and like all this stuff. It would be way easier to leave him, but I'm like, there's no way I would do it because I think I wouldn't enjoy, like performing live is my favorite thing in, my, in the whole world. It's my dream since I was a little girl, but the most important thing and my biggest dream ever was to be a mom and have a baby and I, I can't do one or the other. Like I have to have them at the same time. So like I don't, if I was on tour on stage, I would be happy because I'd be on stage, but like I'd miss him so much. I don't know that I'd enjoy it. Yeah. I don't think also because of our Scorpio brains, like when we are responsible of something, mm -hmm. like we will go 100%. Mm -hmm. So like 
since Colleen is like dedicated to being a mom and a responsible of this human life, like she goes like 100%. Like mm -hmm. she, she's trying to be the best mom she can be. Not to say that working moms aren't because we all have to do what yeah. we have to do. I think it's like also- and In a different sense, they're helping out their baby. It's also like to a fault, you and I both are like this. Mm -hmm. We're like, if we know how something should be done, it's a control thing. I like think it's a Scorpio control thing, but it's not like a, no, I wanted it like this, let me tell you. It's like, we don't even say anything, we'll just do it ourselves. Do you know what I mean? Like if yeah. I see something isn't being done exactly how I want it, I don't go like, oh, actually, could you do it this way? Or like give notes, I'll just, without saying anything, I'll just do it myself. <laughs> and then that's why you and I are like, get so stressed. Mm -hmm. But anyone else going on a tour would have someone else edit all the visuals for the screen, would have someone else make all the make props, all the have props, someone yeah. else make Cost all the costumes, scissors. have someone else make all the lighting design, have someone else make all the set design. But we're just like, we feel like it's easier for us to just do it how we want it, exact, and then it's exactly how you and I want it, as opposed to like trying to explain it to someone else and hope that they get it. For sure. With Todrick's the first person I think I've ever worked on anything for my show. Yeah. But yeah, any sane person would just be like, oh, here's the costumes I want, here's the props I want to other people. Mm -hmm. and, but instead, I'm sitting editing a 30 second clip for the screen for seven hours. And hand stitching gowns. Yeah, and literally costumes. hand stitching gowns and like hand painting. <laughs> like, we have these big portraits we're gonna hang on the stage. And we painted every single one. Like, we are going insane. Like, you should get, can you get one? Yeah. Like, get a couple of the big ones. I like doing all that stuff because it makes me feel more proud of the final product when I do it and when Corey does it. Like, I feel like if someone else were to do all that stuff, I wouldn't feel as proud and as excited when the final product happened. Does that make sense? Like, I'm more proud because I worked so hard. So, I painted this one. <laughs> And then she's thick. She's thick. Corey did that one. She's screaming. She's a screaming Miranda. Oh my gosh, Gus got so excited. Corey did this one. By the way, these look really big in real life compared, and I did this one compared to on the screen. But there's a bunch more, but um, the plan is to make the stage kind of look kind of help you feel more like you're in Miranda's world. So we're putting like weird Miranda stuff everywhere. Um, anyway. Yeah, don't you feel like you feel more proud of the product? Like when yeah, you've done, and also then you know what everything is. So like mm -hmm. if someone else did all the editing, like for example, I wouldn't know exactly what the music was, exactly when the beats drop, exactly it would take me longer to figure out what those things were instead of like it's ingrained in my brain because I've edited it for 70 hours. But then also like, as Miranda, a lot of things change. So like one thing I've always done in my shows is like a pop medley of like a popular songs that Miranda sings and kind of butchers. So like Ariana Grande, Britney Spears, or like whoever. And I do that in every show and I was like, oh, well, it's been a year since I was on tour. So like there's new songs and I had some fun ideas for new songs that had come out like Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. like. Um, Billie Eilish, you know, stuff like that, that'd be funny if Miranda covered on stage. And so I'm editing together this thing. If I had someone else do it, something that I do in my show is like, if a new song comes out, I will update that. So like each show has something different in it. And if you've been to my shows before, you've probably noticed that, but like, if, so like right now, Seven Rings is popular for Ariana, but if she comes out with a new song in a month, I would swap that out for her new song. If Billie Eilish comes out with a new thing or if like a meme starts going around, so like, you know, the the yodeling boy was popular for a minute. So the day before our show, I edited the yodeling boy song into the medley. If I had someone else editing it all for me, I wouldn't be able to do that and keep the show updated. Yeah. So that's another reason I like doing all that stuff on my own. Also like, since Miranda lives in your head, I feel if like somebody else did it, the whole Miranda would like lose her magic because mm -hmm. it wouldn't be coming from the you, mm -hmm. from the, the mind of the creator. Yeah. So. I'm excited. I'm really nervous. I have not been sleeping. Like I, mm -mm. we literally from the second we wake up until we go to sleep very late at night, we are working on the show. We are painting, creating, sewing, editing, um, having meetings, writing. Like it has been non 
stop. Like, she, not only just doing that, but she also has to do a YouTube career on top of like other projects, on top of raising a child. Well, that's the that's the fun part. I was gonna say hard part, but it's I like it. Like I'm because it's not a complaint. Like it's just so I've never done a show with a baby before, obviously. Mm -hmm. So that's like. Normally, I feel like the amount of things I'd get done in a day now it takes me four days mm -hmm. because so much of the day I want to play with Flynn and I want to like hang out with him and feed him and I put Take him down for every nap. I do every bath time with him and so does Eric too. Um, so like, it's our first baby. We want to be involved in every single thing. So like, I I take a lot of breaks throughout the day with with work so that we can like be with Flynn and hang out with him and stuff. So. Yeah, I. It's just a different experience. So it's just it's really exhausting and it's really fun. I hope the show's good. I'm like so scared. That I'm gonna be great. I'm so nervous, guys. I think it'll be good though. So we have shows in Pomona, San Jose, Sacramento, Phoenix, Tucson, and Salt Lake City, and then hopefully we'll add more. Um, there's still a lot of tickets left, so make sure to get tickets and come see us. Me and Corey will be on stage. We have a new. Uh, addition with my security <laughs> guard who I'm forcing to put on stage who you guys might recognize. Um, Eric's gonna be coming, my mom's gonna be coming, Flynn's gonna be coming. Um, sure my whole family I'm sure will family be family and friends will come. Um, so yeah, uh, make sure to get tickets and make sure to check out the Netflix special on June 4th. We're really excited about that coming out. I'm really nervous. And I was very pregnant and very sick. It's so crazy because the parts of the of the Netflix special where I'm like, ooh, that wasn't very good, or ooh, that I messed up that part. I wish so bad I could like yell through the screen at anyone watching. <laughs> like, I was really pregnant. I was like, yeah. there's like, there's moments. Not that pregnant women can't do things. I, pregnant women are the most capable, incredible women in the world. But like, my personal pregnancy experience was so painful that like I remember why. You know, yeah. like there's. Um, like there's a part where I do like a model walk and I do like this weird Miranda model walk and usually it's really funny and like really fast and jittery and weird and I remember I started to do it and it hurt so bad because my pelvic bone had split in two right before we went into the special so like I was in excruciating pain in my hips and in my pelvic bone and I couldn't do it so my model walk looks there's like a few moments where you'll if you've seen the show before you'll watch and be like well she's doing that different and it's because I was in so much pain. <laughs> but I feel also like it adds a lot to the show too because I don't know if this is a spoiler, you can cut this out if, you, if it is, but there's a part where there's a, there's a platform and Colleen has to get up on the platform. Yeah, yeah. And the only physical way that she could get up on the platform was just to like roll, roll herself. Like, 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 a, like a roly poly. Yeah, like a roly poly. Like I literally sit on it and <laughs> lean back and like roll up and it looks like I'm trying to be funny but, but I legit like that was the, the only, only way, way I could get up could there get up, so it looks funny and we laugh at it because we know that like that's me legit trying to get back up on the platform yeah. <laughs> anyway I can hear the baby uh, fussing I think I need to put him down for now by the way these are reusable straws don't come for me they're plastic reusable straws um, uh, but yeah, love you guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you're excited about the Netflix special get tickets to see my show and please be patient with me in the next couple of weeks. Um, I might not be putting up videos and it is because we are frantically trying to get this show done and it's hard for me to t find time to edit and film and whatnot. So um, if you don't see many videos, that's why. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Thanks Corey for being here and eating in and out Bye. with me. Bye.